we be positive within a team if you are not the leader of the team or not the person who takes care of the team then should you what about how do you say should you uh, care about your team positivity this is what i call as the influencing without authority many of us we are not yet the boss but we uh, are in charge of a significant aspect in our respective offices do you agree with me yes that is the case and uh, the usual scenario is the person who is at the top if that person is not very constructive not very positive then um, there is a lot of dissatisfaction but can you can you educate a person over your dissatisfaction because uh, nobody cares right and the, uh, my boss says they a very small thing they don't see the anger if i do the same with him he kinds of uh, his his he brings a lot of things why i should be positive you know so why not be positive from the beginning and dock that person so if there is a perpetual negative person at the workplace what we can do is we can simply ignore that is what i discussed yesterday today what i am trying to do is your peace is the greatest thing that you deserve so if there is something negative is going on in your team then four things you can initiate one is to care of course the second is to assess third is reflect and fourth is empower so whatever is there in the uh, office you don't have to go by that for example i i i maintain i maintain a list do you maintain a list so i have this um thing a notebook from waste paper if you see there is one sided paper so what i do is i write down my thoughts here um and uh, then the so that that habit needs to be cultivated the first habit and how others are benefited by that you don't miss anything the the other person sees you that all that is recorded out here and plus if you have something in mind that also you can write if, if there is no way you can remember even if you put in your calendar or uh, in your mobile or anything even if you do there if there are thousands of things that you need to do in the collaboration and participation participatory world then you don't have to remember all those you can write down the first is to write down the second is to <clears throat> assess about others thing and you reach a de- decision right whether you should be doing something or not doing something the third is and and by by assessment what i mean is what is the thermometer of emotion positive emotions across the team and uh, if it is low then you can do something some creativity or engage people so that the thermometer goes up third is reflect as i say i maintain a notebook so so that uh, whatever comes to my mind i also keep writing i look at the linkedin and also i get some idea 
I look at the comments of different people. Also, I get some idea and write those down. My thoughts only. Most of the cases, what you can see is you will see that there is a LinkedIn post where my thoughts are already there. I don't write very convinced. Uh, very conventional thing. I just write down what comes to my mind. So that is what I do. And rest of the thing, what I cannot put forth out there, I can just write it down. And the fourth is empowerment. Whoever is doing whatever thing. Lately, this has come to my mind that if part of your work is getting done by somebody else how does it matter whether uh, you you are taking the credit or not if your scheme of things are getting ticked then that is enough right so these are all my thoughts today hope you will like and please comment below i'll be waiting for your comments thank you